In a previous Doctrine Digest, we talked about all the different types of reconnaissance. In this next few episodes, we'll break down the different types of security operations. There are several types, and we can break those down a bit. So in this video, we're just going to talk about the screen. A screen is a vital type of security operation because it serves a crucial role in providing early warning to the protected force, albeit offering less protection compared to a guard or cover. These are inherently defensive and involve the deployment of a screen force using observation posts and patrols to maintain observation over an assigned sector. The screen's force's objective is to establish and sustain enemy contact, which aligns with our security fundamentals. There are two categories of screens, a stationary and a moving screen. For a stationary screen mission, a squadron needs some guidance, like establishing the general trace of the screen, security guidance, an information collection plan, specifying the sector's width, identifying the screen force, establishing the rear boundary, and outlying possible follow-on missions. Now when a screen is executed, while the maneuver force is on the move, movement techniques and considerations obviously will change. The screening unit assumes responsibility from the lead combat elements front and ends at the rear of the protected force. The use of phase lines, checkpoints, lateral boundaries, and more are critical to orientating the regulating of the movement of the screening unit. The LD, which is the same for the protected force, initiates the screen mission and becomes the rear boundary of the moving screen. A few things to remember. Cavalry units don't conduct a moving screen to the front of a stationary force or a stationary screen in front of a moving force. What they could do is they could conduct an advance guard, reconnaissance in force, or zone reconnaissance to the front of the moving force. Another thing to think about is depth. The screen's depth is important because it allows seamless reconnaissance handovers without having to move from established observation posts. The tactical use of depth allows friendly forces to conduct counter-reconnaissance, which impedes enemy advance and forces them to deploy prematurely. And then by leveraging indirect fires, the screen disrupts enemy movements and hinders their ability to identify, penetrate, and exploit the screen. So, screen operations are a vital component of security operations, and by effectively employing observation posts, patrols, and using depth, a screen operation offers early warning capabilities to the protected force, contributing to the overall success of the operation. For more on this, open up FM 398 Reconnaissance and Security Operations, and you can download that and more of your doctrine from the Army Publishing Director website at armypubs.army.mil.